Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. And also, I have listed all my YouTube videos and I have given the link from GitHub in the description section. Please check out for any particular topic you are searching for. Friends, in today's video, we will see how to fetch the diagonal values from a list in PySpark. Let's say you have a data set like this. This is very simple data set you can see here, but in the real time, right, you will have list of lists in a particular column and you need to fetch one particular item from the list and you need to populate or perform some transformation on top of it. So this example will help you to work on such scenarios. So now let's go to Databricks notepad, notebook. So friends, I have created one row of row object which is uh, RDD out of this data and I am creating a data frame from this RDD and you can see the RDD that is being created here. So which has serial number, serial name, subject number, subject name and marks from all the six subjects in a single list you can see. Sometimes what will happen is when we are getting the data from web logs or something right from the external like maybe upstream uh, uh, this one right uh, uh, upstream then what will happen is you might get a list uh, one column with a list of lists and you need to fetch the data uh, based on some transformations based on some conditions. So if you see here the serial number and for this particular student marks are given in a list but there are six different columns are present which means that it is making a list of marks for all these six subjects but now our requirement is to get whatever is the marks for the first subject should come uh, next to this uh, in a new column so now we will see how to do that so now we have the data frame ready so now what we have to do is now because this is a list right we have to pick up the values based on the index so now this is 0 at index first index uh, second index, third index, fourth index and fifth index. So now here only we have five we can directly say one, two, three, four, five but let's say there are some thousands of uh, elements in the list then you will not be able to hard code it right. So for that reason we need some ID right for knowing which is the index to pick up we have to say that okay this uh, pick up this pick up some value from the thousand index. So for telling that you need some column with the indexes. So for that kind of row number or index whatever you say we have to have a particular column right. So for, for in this example I will show you how to take that using the window function. So for using window first we have to import window for working on the windows and also I will import functions as well because we will be using lot of functions right f ok so now we have to create a window spec right for working on the window for this dot partition by and we will give for what are the columns we will take for partitioning right for it for, 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 for taking the window for applying the window functions window spec we have to have partition by and if it is row number we have to have the order by clause as well so now here if you note it down i mean if you notice here serial number and s name are same across this record so because of that reason i am taking f dot call of serial number comma f dot call of student name in the partition by because this it is similar to group by so we have to group based on the serial number and serial name so for that reason i am taking partition by for those two columns then we also 
have to have order by clause for the window spec when you are working with row number. So, order by we have to have subject number. That's the only available as of now, right? Okay. Now, df already we have. So, df1 I will create df1 equal to df dot. Now, we will have with column for creating a new column called row number. Okay. So, in that row number, we will apply the window function. How to do that is row number f dot row number here this f is this functions okay this function from there that is a standard function then we have to mention over a window what is the window that we have is for that reason here i have created a window spec so instead of window spec you can actually pass the entire over and this window spec this window spec you can actually pass this entire thing inside the, this over but it is it be, like best practice to have these kind of uh, conditions outside okay for uh, very good readable uh, like a code readability so because of that reason i am having this window spec outside and then i am passing that window spec to this over so now what we are saying that is for this row number uh, like uh, this is the standard python function like uh, pyspark function for uh, fetching the row number and i am assigning that with the new, new column created as row number and this row number by default it starts with 1 but whereas we have a list here which will start with 0 index right so for that reason i am saying that f dot lit of 1 minus so I am saying that the, for example the first row will become 1 right 1 minus 1 will become 0. So 0 1 2 3 4 5 which will exactly uh, similar to this indexes in the list ok. So now I will just print it you will understand how this row number looks like. You can see here right row number is 0 1 2 3 4 5. Now we have to pick up the values from the marks which are equal to row number for the individual marks. So for this what I will do is I am creating another data frame df2 and I am saying that from the df1 use with column function here we will have something called as marks okay with the m, m small uh, so lower case I mean to say okay so now from marks column f dot call is column column of marks that we have it here if that column has marks and from marks we have to get the item because this is a list right get the item of zero index for one first index second index so that how we will decide is we will pass this row number as input to this get item so now if that column of row number means it will have the number 0 to 5 and every time for each because this we are doing a row level operation for each row it will take get item of that row number for this row it will take row number get item of 1 get item of 2 get item of 3 get item of 4 and get item of 5 ok now we have closed the get item ok fine we have closed this one we are saying that we have to get the item exactly now we don't need uh, few things right like marks we don't need now ok and even row number we don't need it now now df2 dot show column marks f dot marks get item of row number have I closed this yes will give us marks 
marks individual mark something okay and then we will do drop now you can see the individual marks are available for each and every uh, like subject so for english this one hindi sanskrit so this way we can get the diagonal values so if you just compare here right with the virtual so 89 67 98 34 67 and 55 these are appearing here so this way you can get the diagonal values uh, from a list for each and every line this is the easiest way to do that using the window function so this is mainly used when you are working with some matrix or vector calculations in your pyspar code hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning thank you